morning, everybody. My name is Joy Mochache. Welcome back to Social Friday. This is Y254 channel. And once again, remember, you can reach me on, y, on Joy underscore Mochache. Excuse me. Remember on Facebook, you can reach out and also tell us what you think of the beautiful ladies we're going to have on stage today. On Facebook, that is Y254 channel. On YouTube, that is Y254 underscore channel. And on Instagram, that is the same, same name. And so jumping right in. Today we have video vixens up on our stage, man. As in the beauty is just too much. You should just see it's confusing. I'm an Ajikali. Sime kumbele lazima toge na bibi. Nangalia zinaweza. I wish you the best of luck, baby. Says he hit goals, goals, India. And so let me introduce our beautiful ladies that we have on stage today. We have Jojo Mleka in the beautiful pink dress. And we also have Gildas Akunga. And lastly, but now final, we have Nancy Kibanga. Mm -hmm. Welcome, ladies. Karibuni. Feel free, be comfortable. Mm -hmm. And so today, we're just going to have a discussion, Girls Talk discussion, where we get to know what you do, how you do it, and um, if you would advise someone else to also take it down as something that they can get some money out of. So just jumping in, uh, I've looked at some of your work. Uh, Miss Nancy, you've done one video and then you, you disappeared. Ulianda yeah. Api? No, I've done a couple, but yeah. um, I guess I only posted one. Okay, you only posted one. Yeah. How come? You didn't <laughs> want us to see all the... <laughs> um, I don't know. Just your choice, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so, so Gildas, I hear yes. that you're a newcomer into this. Yes, I am. And you just started off. How long you done it for? Actually, it's a month now. A month? Yeah. How are you feeling about it? <laughs> okay, I'm nervous, though uh -huh. I'm excited, because mm -hmm. uh, I'm venturing into the world. Yeah. yeah. And I'm trying something new, something that I've been dreaming of doing some time back. Okay, so yeah. so. And I'd also like to hear from you. I know you're a veteran. <laughs> yes. Okay, hi guys. Um, I've done a couple of videos. Mm -hmm. uh, those are upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. I've also done uh, a new one that is dropping today at 4 p.m. Oh, Nokbela. Uh huh. Yeah, it's Toto. So I'm a vixen in the video. Okay. Yeah. So, so. And so before we go further, please let guys know where they can find you on social media. We'll start with you and then we we'll go down this way. Uh, on Instagram, uh, you can find me by Jujum Lika. Jujum Lika, Instagram, and also Facebook, still using Jujum Lika. On Instagram, Gildas the Miss. On Facebook, you can find me at Gildas Akunga. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Nancy, oh sorry, Kabinga JR, and the same on Facebook, Kabinga JR. Now, being a video vixen, I know there are a lot of ladies, and you know this is a youth channel, a lot of ladies who are looking up to you guys and also thinking that they'd like to venture into this. You know, we all watch music videos, we all love music. So sometimes we watch, you know, nah, like the way you guys are beautiful, the way you're doing your thing, the way you're dancing, the way you're owning the camera. What would you advise, let's say, for someone who is interested, let's say especially youth people who would like to get into video vixen work? What's the first step that they would take? Anyone can jump right in. If you feel like you have something to add, don't get to Can I discuss? Um, I think first of all you should work on your looks. Um, work hmm. on your like looks. You looks, rebrand okay. you brand yourself. Okay, okay. If it's your page, Instagram, make it like attractive. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's where people get you. That's where people find you. They'll come looking for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Is this familiar to you? That was <laughs> really kitambo. <laughs> kitambo. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That was actually the first big video I did, and still my fav. Mm -hmm. Um. So if you wanna get into this, I think first you should also um, like get a management or something or a manager and um, mm -hmm. make it a profession uh -huh. because it's not easy okay. if you're working alone. Okay. And mm -hmm. I put the mic up close when you're speaking. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, so let me move along. Uh, you guys have to ask. Video Vixen work looks really glamorous, yeah? And anyone who is watching, they want to be a part of it, yeah? So I just have to ask, what are some of the things that make you nervous to go on set? 
are there things before you go and set to do your thing are there things unafikiria like oh man oh man i don't like doing abcd i don't like doing this particular kind of dance anything of the sort that makes you think twice feel free y'all okay it all depends with the role uh, you can be a backstage dancer you can be the main vixen so at some point this the way you're supposed to dress mm -hmm. and you might find it not really comfortable mm. because they'll require you to look sexy too sexy if you're the main vixen okay yeah and on the screen right now maybe you can yeah i mean i'm in a barbery shirt okay it's a brown checked okay yeah oh here. this is you yeah Oh my gosh, that confidence on camera. Hey, Mase. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I could. Wow, I really admire that. I really do. Mm -hmm. Now you guys are good dancers, huh? Yeah. So now let me ask you. I hear you're also a nurse. Actually, I know you're a nurse. And you're doing it full time. You're actually a certified nurse, yes? Yeah. Um, so this is something that you're doing kando kando on the side. Is okay. it a hobby or what is music? What is video vixen to you, being a video vixen? Okay, at first, um, dancing is a hobby, but in our world of today, you can earn by being a dancer. So, through the support of family and friends, mm -hmm. uh, I was able to identify some potential. Mm -hmm. So, when I first did my first video, mm -hmm. that's when I got the confidence. And being a nurse, it, it's not really an easy task, because it requires 24-7 cooperation. So you have to find time in between. So you have to be easy to reach mm. so that you can get good connections with the artists. Okay. So mm. I'm really working on my <laughs> schedule. <laughs> You're working on that. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So at least I find time once in a while. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. So, so and moving on to Gildas, what do you do apart from being a video vixen? I'm a student. You're a student. Where at? At the University of Nairobi. Okay. Can I ask what you study? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm taking a Bachelor of Degree in Political Science. Political Science. And Performing Arts. And Performing Arts. Okay, yeah. so you're going to be a politician one day. <laughs> We're rooting for you. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And our beautiful lady, Nancy Kibanga, please tell us, are you venturing into something else apart from dancing at the moment? Yeah, I'm a student too. Okay. Uh, it's more. It's... Okay. Management University of Africa. I'm mm -hmm. um, doing project management, mm -hmm. um, and I sell hair too, and I do makeup sometimes. Okay, you sell hair, you do makeup. Yeah. Ah, okay, that's nice. So you want to expand into business, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Ah, sour. I wish you the best of luck with that. Thank you. And I'd like to just. <laughs> with, oh my gosh! I think I've seen this video several times. <laughs> this is you, yes? Yes. Gil does. You've done this for a month. How are you feeling so far about it? Are you feeling like this is something you'll stick around for some time? Actually, yeah. 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 Mm. You'll be doing it for some time. Yeah, what do you like time. most about it? What drew you in? Okay, what drew me in? Like I was so Could you put your mic up close? Oh, sorry. Okay, I used to see videos and see some girls on video and like, hey, they look wow. And then I was like, someday thought of being in videos. Some, yeah, too. Uh -huh. uh, so... I had a friend of mine, mm -hmm. Jaka Capella, so he connected me to Maposi Classic, and it was my first video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was camera shy, but I tried. You it tried. was my first. Okay. Yeah. Now, would now someone who is camera shy, like myself, when it comes to dancing, what would you advise to me? Okay, first, you have to believe in yourself, mm -hmm. gather your confidence, uh, and do your best. And do your best. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, yeah, so, so. Thank you for that advice. So let's move on to something a bit more lighthearted. <laughs> you know, out there, the world of video vixens, let's say in the international realm, those are the, um, in different countries, they say that this is something that they can live on. It puts food on the table, it can feed family if you have to. Is it the same in Kenya, or do you think that they should be paying video vixens a little bit more, or does it depend on the artist? Do you find like it's something you can survive on? and leave every other career out? 
or is it something you would wish uh, maybe our government would work on on trying to increase what they pay wonderful ladies like you? Honestly, um, <laughs> <There's it. laughs> I wanted to say, um, yeah, it's they should start paying models more because in Kenya they don't take it. Okay, most people don't take it as a career or s a profession that you could earn from. Um, it's not given the same, you know, like <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but out here, even like with parents, when my mom first saw the video, she was kind of embarrassed to, to show our friends or for people to recognize me. It's not something that people really like appreciate or so yeah I think and again artists should pay models more and yeah I think we paid little we paid less. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you mostly agreeing with what she said? Yeah. Aye. Before we jump into the more lighthearted question, I have mm -hmm. something that we have been discussing lately about the music industry in Kenya, once again. And people are complaining we don't play Kenyan music on our stations, whether TV or radio. And then when we do play music videos, a lot of them, they are saying that a lot of them, they don't get, they don't make it in. Labda are not complain about um, maybe the content of the music, they don't like what the rapper was saying, or maybe some complain about dress code, and it's really a thing. And so many artists are really suffering. Their stuff does not get played. What 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 is your um, what are your thoughts about Kenyan music industry and what can you maybe say, even as a video vixen, something that can assist our artists to get more airplay, or you guys to get more airplay, or more support. Anyone, if you'd like the mic, please take it. Okay, I would love to say, uh, first for the upcoming artist, like they should really get good managers so that with the content of the music, it really matters a lot because you can't air something that it really doesn't give good information to the community. Mm. It really matters. So first you should get good promoters, good managers, and also for the video vixens, um, you, can, you can look good in any outfit. So you don't have to, to go naked so that the video can be awesome no you can you can look good in any outfit i feel i like how you're dressed in that video yeah I thank you i know that there are people who can watch it very comfortably i love yeah. kunazile video which you're talking about yeah. which are so explicit like you just want to look away yeah mm. so that's why i'm saying that um and about the income um if the kenyan artist can pay the video vixens well I think the other girls out there can be motivated because we have those girls who are doing it as a side hustle. For me, I'll be doing it as a side hustle. There are those who will be doing it like a full time, for full time. Mm -hmm. So if they pay well, you can support your family and friends. Mm -hmm. And also you can use the money to further education. Mm -hmm. For me, if I get good promoters, mm -hmm. I can do a higher diploma. Yeah, okay. so I think they should pay well. Yeah, they should pay well. Yeah. And please put up the questions that we're going to delve into in a second. Um, I actually think being a video vixen is an actual, I think it's a job, a real job. Anything that is in the art realm, performing arts, I take it as a job. I know some people are just like, art is not a job, art is art. But I think art is a job because it's a talent, number one. You are aware that not, not everyone can dance like you ladies. No one can assist go stiff dogo maze. So, as in, there are things which are just simply talent. No, no. Yeah. And if something is a talent, you can make a career out of it. That's what I believe. And so I also take the video vixen work as um, a career, actually, if you want to, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, so as the questions are coming up, I think I saw one of them. Uh, before we... Tafadali <laughs> Trekezo Maswali. Before we go in, what was the last picture you took on your phone? <laughs> I saw some. I saw some. <laughs> yeah, like a few minutes before we went live. Okay. Yeah. All of you three. That's a, that's the most recent one you took. Can we have the next question then? Have you ever danced in the rain? Y'all ain't living, man. Y'all ain't living. You've never. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never danced in the rain either. 
Have you ever danced in the rain anyway? Actually, what are some of the things? Do you do anything when it comes to nature? Are you into nature? Maybe camping, hiking, swimming, be swimming. Mm. And all now all of you guys, I want your answers. You can't escape. Yeah, as she said. Uh-huh. Traveling. Traveling. Okay, that's a good one. How about you? I love traveling and taking pictures. Traveling and taking pictures. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But you've never danced in the rain. <laughs> Put that in there. <laughs> Put that on the list next. Do you trust anyone with your life? Let's start with you, Nancy. Do you, do you trust anyone with your life? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my mama. Okay. Mm. Speak up a little bit. My mama. Your mama. Yeah. You trust her with your life. Oh, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I should say my dad. Okay, your pops. Yeah. Okay, daddy's girl. Could you pass the mic? Do you trust anyone with your life? Yeah, I trust my mother. Your mother? Yeah. I mm. also trust my mom with my life. Mm. Oh, my dad also, but you know. I, uh, let's start with you. What question do you hate to answer? I was asking you guys, what are those things you hate <laughs> doing before they shoot? It has now come back to you. <laughs> what question What question do you hate to answer? What makes you most uncomfortable? About the challenges. Challenges. Yeah, you Over. cannot openly talk about the challenges. There are some which are a bit hectic. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I saw the way you guys avoided me. Now, who could? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, I hate someone asking to know more about me. To know more about you? Yeah. You don't want people to know more about you? Okay, some people go so deep, like some oh. things are so personal. Mm -hmm. And someone just wants to know you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have us. And then when you guys speak, I want that mic close to the mouth. Let's, let's finish with you, Nancy. Um, how much did you get paid? How much do you get paid? That's mm -hmm. a good one. <laughs> in fact, I was curious, but I would not ask that on air. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, in Kwanga. See, when you were curious, Mama. Mama. <laughs> uh -huh. So now, and you, Khalifa, actually, what question do you hate to answer? Dijen Chese in Goma. For real? <laughs> Why? That's the easiest one, because you just be like, okay, so our peep. Uh. Okay. At the same time, right? Like, actually, when you that means already you are born, you are not going to be able to play Kenyan music, you are not going to be able to You get. So, my day is well in a Zabo. Yeah, because you can hear a playlist for the day, and then someone is there with something that has nothing to do with the playlist. Ah, I may get. Okay, Nancy, what cheers you up? Be honest. If it's up. a hug, if it's a kiss, if it's flowers, if it's a movie, what cheers you up? I love chocolates and some cool music, trap. Mm, chocolate and trap cheers you up. Yeah. So when I'm finding Nancy in, Nancy <laughs> in her best mood, kutakwanaka <laughs> trap yeah. and some Nestle over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yes, Miss Akunga. <sighs> music cheers me up. Music yeah. in general. Yeah. Mm, anything else? Maybe something to eat or... Food. <laughs> Food. Okay, on a Twitch, cool Ah, okay. Could you pass the mic? Okay, good music cheers me up. Mm -hmm. And some nice chicken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're together. <laughs> yeah, and also nice compliments. Yes. When I dress well and someone compliments me, mm -hmm. I feel nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And have you ever been stung by a bee? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been stung by a bee? Yes. Okay, me too. Uh -huh. And Nancy? No. No, you've never. Oh, it was painful, right? Yeah, yeah. Where were you stung? Actually, it, it was on my palm. It was somewhere. on your palm? Yeah. Oh, I was stung yeah. on my foot. I couldn't oh, walk for like <laughs> three days. Yeah, I know that feeling. Wow. Okay. And I want honest answers. I <laughs> Don't make that face because I'm starting with you. <laughs> Vera Sideka or Huda? You can't say both. Yeah, you can't say both. You gotta pick one. Yeah. You can't say neither. <laughs> 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 it's not avoiding. Oh, 
I love them both. Uh, oh. Yeah, you have failed oh, zero out of ten. <laughs> um, I'll go with V. Yeah. Yeah. How come? Because at least she posts a lot of pictures of her dressed on Instagram, so mm. I have something to keep looking at. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so keep in mind this is our last question. So I want honest answers. I'll go for Huda. <laughs> okay, how come? Okay, let no one take this so personal. So yeah, like, feel free. Yeah, so Huda has got no scandals. Like, when you go to social media recently, there's so much about Vera Sidika doing this, doing that. Get mm -hmm. And so there's never anything about Huda doing this. Doing okay, that. not like I'm talking about recently. So like. Just go for Huda. Mm. Yeah, she's just a queen. Okay. I just like her. Okay. Uh huh. Vera Sidika or Huda? Vera Sidika. Okay. Oh, uh, I love the way she stands out. That lady is confident. As much as people on social media throw shade, when you go through the comments on her Instagram account, people really throw shade like about her physique, what she did, but. I love her confidence, like she still moves ahead no matter what, mm. yeah. Okay, those are two very different women, so for me it's so hard to even compare. They're so vastly different, Kabza, even in personality and the things they're interested in, so I can understand the differences in opinions. Now that you've said something about scandals, I thought about an interesting question. You know sometimes these ladies and other artists and other celebrities, they actually use scandals to become more famous. Someone wakes up one day, them themselves, like maybe they'll ask a friend, who type that I did this? No, seriously, stuff happens. And then that's when things blow up. Would you do that to get more PR? Would you go and make up a scandal? And if you did, and if that's the case, how come your, your opinion on Vera <laughs> is because of scandals? <laughs> why were you believing them? What if, okay. what if someone's just hating? I'm not negative on her. Mm. Yeah, like you said, you should choose one. So like yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I so I'm the like one who... Uh, that much I don't like her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the scandal issue. The scandal issue. I want to hear a bit about that. If, if you'd like to take the mic, that's fine. I'm just asking, when it comes to scandals, the way we believe them on a daily basis, aren't we aware that artists actually wake up and create some of these scandals on themsel by themselves? Um, for me, I believe there's no good or bad publicity. So whatever it takes to like get ahead or get people to listen to you or see you, then it's all publicity. It's all publicity. Yeah. So you're for scandals then? Okay, I don't know if I'll do it, <laughs> but if that is what it takes, then mm. I, I'm down for it. Publicity is publicity, whether, yeah, it, whether it's positive or, or negative. Bad, yeah, it's publicity. Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to also choose between the two? Yeah. Um, I say, do I have to? <sighs> I think I'll go with Huda. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can feel them chalets from that <laughs> camera. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I think I'll go with Huda um, for reasons untold. I think uh, she's a, I don't know, she has cool vibes. I could too chill, and I like that. So then, you guys, we've got to sign out. Our next interview is coming from Hilda Wadidi. We've had beautiful, wonderful video vixens on our set today. We're not yet done. Do stay tuned in. There's still so, so much more to see. Excuse me. It's actually Kalami Val that's coming in next. And so we've had um, three video vixens here that I'd like for them to remind you the social media handles, starting with Nancy. Because I know guys are just ogling their eyes. They're just waiting for the interview. They're like, shut up, Joy. Just give us the nini. <laughs> give us their social media handles. So please go ahead um, once again. Hey, guys. Follow me on Instagram. at KabingaJR. Okay. And on Facebook, KabingaJR. Mm -hmm. Follow me on Instagram at GildasTheMiss. And on Facebook at GildasAkunga. Hey guys, follow me on Instagram at JoJomLeka. Add me on Facebook, JoJomLeka. And please don't forget to subscribe to Enox Bella channel on YouTube at 4 p.m. He's going to draw a very nice song, Toto. So stay tuned. And you actually featured in yeah, that I'm one. Yeah, I'm a video vixen. There you go. So yeah. 
her job, <laughs> job in Endelea to come. So even today, she's dropping something. You guys keep tuned in for that. Once again, I've had a wonderful time with you. This is Social Friday. <laughs>